Wait, 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 no, no. Why would they do it? Bro, because it's getting you ready, dog. Yeah! No! Yo, 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 what's good, people? It's your boy T-Rav. I'm back with another video right now. I got the first chapter of One Piece for the year, baby. Chapter 1037. Shiron Hake. I'm sure it's got something to do with Kaido. It has to have something to do with Kaido because the Rime Hake, you already know what it's done. But, bro, where we're at, I don't really have to get too deep into it, but you're going to see this year. My I am a stand of Luffy, the king of the pirates. In the future, he will be that. But for now, we got a big obstacle to go through. And, bro, to just get the... The ball tees that Oda gave us last chapter. Talk about this is getting fun. I was thinking the same thing. All right, so let's go. Sure on Hake. Okay, German 66 on the cover. We was getting the German 66 cover series. So they look okay. German 66's Cold Blooded Voyage Log Volume 2. Judge lets out a heavy sigh. Hold on. Where's Niji? I see one. I see Reiju. Where's Where's Niji and Yonji? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so there's a note here that says the kanji means Drunk Dragon Bagua. Chinese read is famed for booze. Okay. Who knows what that means? Flower Capital Wano. You've had way too much. The Fire Festival is also coming to a close. I know you idiot. This is the only day of the year I could drink it all. After tonight, it's back to our country's bitter reality. <laughs> you ain't lying, my boy. Right, Orochi? <laughs> Yeah, this is your one day where you get to say that right now. You know what I'm saying? Be quiet. You never know if one of his agents is around. Look, homegirl's right here. <laughs> I bet that's one of his agents. It seems the festival is starting to wind down. They're getting the Sky Lanterns ready. Time to write your wishes for our ancestors to see. Will they really make them come true? Of course. I wonder what the people of Wano are writing. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, Onigashima continues its approach. Luffy seems stunned. Bash. Pant, pant. This nigga Kaido. Why are you drinking? <laughs> because, nigga. It requires juice. Well, you want a swig? <laughs> God. Because I'm having fun. You want a swig? The Capitol is celebrating the fire festival today. And we were supposed to host a grand banquet here on Onigashima. You right, you right. Although you've pretty much ruined that. Mm, foo, foo, foo. Oh, row, 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 row. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Bro, he just busts out laughing. And Luffy says, you're totally wasted. You're not wrong. You better not use this as an excuse when you lose. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I love Kaido. I love Kaido so much. 
getting drunk won't weaken me. And I've already acknowledged your strength, remember? Bro. Whoa. I can't remember the last time I was challenged to a serious fight. A one-on-one -on -one fight. Woo. Hey there. Sharon Hake. That he dodges easily. Is this nigga Kaido drunken master? What the fuck? He was normal form. He dodges by doing the matrix. But then he pops back up laughing drunk. Whoa, ro, ro, ro. Wow. Luffy. Oh, bro, this nigga Luffy be taking a fucking beating. Oh, he comes down with the full rotation, dog. Conqueror's hockey. Look at the fucking lightning coming off that strike. Ragnarok. Bro, you just hear snap, 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 snap. Dome interior life. Whoa, whoa, the roof is cracking. First the castle's on fire, and now the dome isn't stable. Oh, Luffy's a hell of pain. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm enjoying this. But the castle and island are half destroyed. He went dragon form? Talk about useless. Seems like I can't even protect one lousy castle. <laughs> this nigga kind of is ridiculous. That hurt, damn it. You bastard. I guess we could rebuild. It'll take what around five years. Whew. Sad drunk phase. Does this nigga Kaido get a different buff in the different levels of drunk that he's in? Just based on how he's feeling? What the fuck am I reading right now? I've got to keep my guard up. Pam Pam, I did my best. <laughs> Woo, but maybe that's just not good enough. Dragon Demolition Twister. Because Luffy charges in. And he gets repelled. He can't get in. And it's obviously sending the... The wind size from before. Luffy takes that head on. Knocks it off to the side and it slashes a fucking mountain. Get away! <laughs> Bro, you gotta knock this nigga sober, man. I know he started drinking more once he got into your fight, but what the fuck is happening? Crying drunk face. Oh! <gasps> You damn brat. <laughs> Bro, this nigga's literally crying. This is what you get when you don't back off. Thunder. He goes in and conquers hockey. He swings, Luffy dodges, and steps on the club midair. Luffy! He's already got the R going back. You can see it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't his his hand. He brought the leg back. She she she. Take that, you drunk. <laughs> Bow. Woo! Sent this nigga's neck back. 
Where he's literally got Conker's hockey coming off of his foot. That's crazy. And it's so it's showing the lightning sound effect. Like that's wild. Whoa. Oh, he took his tail and and grabbed him after he clocked him. What the fuck? Luffy! Bro. Bro, Kaido is ridiculous. Bro, this nigga's blubbering like a baby. And he is matching Luffy, and he he's not even coherent. Bro, they fucking headbutt each other, and Luffy is... Bro, Luffy looks like... He's going all out. This shit is hurt. Bro, they're not even touching. They're not even touching. I'm not going to lie, Luffy masters that shit hella fast. That's nah, kind of wild. Because it really just seems like he just had an epiphany moment and boom. I can kind of, I got the gate. Once he figured out Ryo, he figured out Conqueror's Hockey, which is crazy. Because. It's mad. Bro, this nigga Kaido crying like a bitch. <laughs> but he ain't no bitch. <laughs> Bro, it looks crazy. If you was just to see this battle unfolding, you would be like, these are some gods. Aha! Uh -huh. Luffy gets sent back. His hockey's getting stronger. You little... I was just starting to hit that good buzz. Whew. Why'd you have to bring me sober, you brat? <laughs> Bro, and he launches the beam. Angry drunk phase. Go on, go on, no. Rock Gundari? What is Gundari? So Luffy does the Red Rock Gatlin. What the fuck? That's crazy, dog. And Kaido does Gundari Meteor Shower. Bro, can you imagine getting hit by one of the club swings, bro? It's like six clubs or five clubs. Come on, man. And they both clock each other. Bro, Luffy, can you hold up? Bro, when they just go. <laughs> yeah! Bro, Luffy. Don't fuck around. Kaido going in too. Clearly he's enjoying himself. He literally said, I'm having fun. I don't, I, you know, Luffy say he having fun, but he is clearly out here right for his fucking life. <laughs> Bro, that Kaido comes down with a swing. Luffy stops it with the hand. Bro, this is crazy. This nigga literally could just stop some shit. No fucking problem. It don't even touch. Boom. And he brings the leg back. Bro, he is literally just doing gear third stuff. Like, 
don't have to try. Bro, this is mastery on another level, dog. He's mastering his fruit better, dog. <sighs> Even if it's not quite the size of gear third, like the actual gear third, because that's fucking ridiculous. Bro, if he can just start kind of hitting the halfway point without having to... Come on, man. Kicks him right in his fucking chest and it's the jet version. Looks like a fucking beam. You don't even see it hit him. Oh. Bro, Kaido, is you good? Look at Luffy's face. Look at Kaido. Wait, 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 no, 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 my shaft is probably about to end, okay, the holy land, Marie Joie, red line, as if this year's reverie was cursed, we should put what happened aside for now, oh no, what happened, what happened, what happened, bro, we've been waiting, we've been waiting for way too long to figure out what happened over here in Marie Joie, come on, don't fucking ball tease me now, Wano is the more pressing issue, the gurus, <laughs> there was no way of knowing the battle would go this far, Nico Ramen must have been apprehended by now, it's time to act, it wouldn't be out of place for someone to die unexpectedly. During a war that involves Kaido and Big Mom, this is our chance to erase that nuisance. The seas around Wano, all units stand by. Huh? What's the matter? Oh, bro. Fucking damn near shaking, dog. Well, there's a giant shadow. What is it? No idea. An island? That's impossible. That fruit is nothing but a legend now. Even for us, it hasn't awakened for centuries. How else do you explain the world government giving a specific devil fruit a unique name? They were hiding the fruit's true name from the annals of history. Bro, Zanish about to pull up and fuck niggas up. Zanish had a devil fruit? What, what devil fruit could this be that the world government wants to hide the fruit's true name? To you, I have no idea what the fuck is happening right now. I have absolutely no idea. Bro, Zunisha had a devil, ate a devil fruit, or Zunisha is a devil. What? But Zunisha can talk with certain people, but that's only people with the voice of all things. So it's not like it's a person that ate the fruit that became Zunisha. What the fuck? Oh, dog. Now it's getting fucked. Oh, man. I don't really know where to take that one, but. Bro, okay. Let me take it back. Break next week. Damn. Damn, okay, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Lots to speculate on, because, I mean, dog, we cut away and went back to Marie Joie 
Uh, like did, did we see anything as to what happened? It doesn't look like anything's really been destroyed. Or nothing. <sighs> what? That fruit is nothing but a legend now, even for us. Even for uh, you say that like you've been around hundreds of years, my nigga. It hasn't awakened for centuries. Have you been around to know that? How else do you explain the world government giving a specific devil fruit a unique name? The name of the devil fruit is Zunisha? So this has to be, obviously this is void century length and stuff like that, but if we're going that far back and Zunisha is actually the name of a devil fruit, is the Zunisha fruit one of the first devil fruits? Maybe the original Zoan devil fruit? You would think one like Kaidos would be, but Kaidos is more myth. Like, it's a myth about how the koi fish kept swimming up or swam to the top and became a dragon. Zunisha seems... No we just thought Zunisha was a regular elephant. Now, it could be, in theory, still, but for them to show Zunisha like that and then say that the world government gave a devil fruit a specific name, I think it's easy to draw the conclusion that they're talking about Zunisha. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's the literal primordial someone devil fruit. Maybe it's the first zone devil fruit. And it's been around the entire time. I mean, I don't know, bro. It's so difficult to try and figure something like that out. It's so difficult. But if now, now putting that aside for now, because I could speculate about that all day, right? I could speculate about that all day. Now, Luffy. Right, bro. Luffy's just that guy. He's literally just that guy. If you ever had a question as to if Luffy's about to smoke or not, no, he's always about it. And he ain't trying to hear no excuses. He ain't going to give you no excuses neither. And I like that, dog. I like that. He showed that when he fought Katakuri. And he's shown that many times. But especially with Katakuri. When Katakuri caught him off guard due to foul play. He didn't try to make no excuse talking about, oh, someone interfered with our fight. No, it's like, I'm good. Don't worry about it. We gravy. That's what warriors do. That's what Dorian Brogy did. Even though there was a disadvantage, he wasn't going to disgrace the battle by going and saying that first. No, let's go have the smoke. Right? The dog. <laughs> Kaido. I don't know what's going on with this dude. Is his... Does his combat scheme change based on the mood and stuff he's in? Because that's like one of the first ways we was introduced to him or whatever. Besides his like formal introduction. That was one of the first times we saw him. Was going from different phases of him being drunk. Does that really help him in battle? Because it seems like it's helping him in battle. His hockey's getting stronger. He's literally out here dodging moves and shit in it between different forms more casually. It's not a big thing. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't know what's going on with Kaido, but he's a madman. He's a madman. He's over here blubbering like a baby, but yeah, he's having the greatest time. And he's just so strange to me because he's in the fight. He's second guessing. He's always talking about, oh, I better be more on guard. Oh, get away from me, brat. It's like being drunk doesn't just conjure up feelings that you don't have. Okay. I can clearly see. But it just reveals what's already there and the feelings he's already having. Obviously, that's coming out 
while he's drunk and he doesn't have any way to express that at any other time so I guess now is the most normal time for him but it's so weird but it's so interesting why he's starting to be like this but it makes his character even more interesting to be honest because it's like this nigga said I'm having fun I'm about to dive more in the bottle and now he's acting even more erratic but it's obviously giving him a buff and if he's got this kind of versatility while he's drunk it's like what's gonna happen when he really hits the next level like he hasn't even shown his awakening yet the harvest what I keep on saying I don't know how we're gonna deal with this but hey we'll say that for two weeks from now when I bring you some more of the One Piece greatness, obviously, I'm going to bring it as soon as I can get it out to you. But, uh, you know, that's another chapter for the books. Great first chapter to start off the year. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. But it's just like every single week, it give me something else to speculate about. Oh, like, my God some damn cool action shots and all that. This fight between Kaido and Luffy is about to be crazy, dog. They're not even touching. They're not even touching. But I'm going to keep on bringing you guys these chapter reactions. So let me know what you think about where we're heading. And then is Luffy really about to win right here? Because I know it seems like, you know, Luffy's not really on the back foot that much. But it did seem like he's struggling at times. He's the one getting knocked back, screaming in pain and stuff like that. And I know Kaido's crying, but obviously that's for different reasons. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so let me know what you think about this whole Zunisha thing. Is Zunisha the first Zoan Devil Fruit? Because that's the best guess I can come up, come up with off the top of my mind. Because I can't really think of any other thing that would make Zunisha special like that. You know what I'm saying? But then again, even if it's the first Zone Devil Fruit, what relevance does that really have to the story? So, hey, you know, Oda's about to probably break my ankles again. That's all good. And I'm going to bring you guys some more manga reactions just so y'all know of other series also besides One Piece. But that's it for this chapter. I'll catch you guys in a couple weeks for more One Piece. It's been your boy T-Rapping. I'm out. Mm -hmm.